Title, The Tragic Interim, Vagat Yuelini Minas' Brief Presidency in Rwanda, in the turbulent annals of Rwandan history, Vagat Yuelini Minas' name stands as a poignant reminder of both hope and tragedy. Born in 1953, she emerged as a significant figure in Rwandan politics during a time of immense upheaval and strife. As the first and only female Prime Minister of Rwanda, her tenure was marked by challenges and obstacles that would ultimately culminate in her untimely demise and the exacerbation of the nation's descent into chaos. Yuelin Yemina's ascent to power was emblematic of Rwanda's tentative steps towards democracy following years of authoritarian rule. In 1993, amidst growing calls for political reform, she was appointed Prime Minister by President Juvenal Habyarimina, marking a historic moment for gender equality in Rwandan politics. Her appointment was seen as a symbol of progress and inclusivity, offering hope to a nation grappling with ethnic tensions and political polarization. However, Yuelin Yimina's tenure was overshadowed by the looming specter of conflict. Ethnic divisions between the Hutu majority and Tutsi minority simmered beneath the surface, fueled by decades of colonial manipulation and political manipulation. Despite her efforts to foster unity and reconciliation, the seeds of violence had already been sown, threatening to tear Rwanda apart. The tragic events of April 6, 1994, would forever alter the course of Rwandan history and thrust Yuelin Yemena into a position of unprecedented responsibility. On that fateful day, President Habyarimena's plane was shot down as it approached Kigali International Airport, killing him and Burundian President Cyprin Tariamara in a catastrophic explosion. The assassination of both heads of state plunged Rwanda into chaos, sparking a wave of violence and bloodshed that would engulf the nation in a genocidal frenzy. In the aftermath of Habyarimena's death, Yuelin Imena found herself thrust into the role of interim president, a position she never sought nor imagined. As the highest ranking official left alive in the wake of the president's assassination, she faced the daunting task of leading a nation on the brink of collapse. In the midst of uncertainty and fear, her leadership offered a glimmer of hope to a traumatized populace desperately seeking stability and guidance, yet Yuelin Yemina's tenure as interim president would be tragically short-lived. Her attempts to assert authority and restore order were met with fierce resistance from extremist elements within the government and military, determined to seize power and perpetrate their genocidal agenda. Despite her courage and determination, she was ultimately unable to stem the tide of violence that swept across Rwanda, claiming the lives of countless innocent civilians caught in the crossfire. On the morning of April 7, 1994, just hours after assuming the mantle of leadership, Yuelin Yemena's presidency came to a brutal end. Armed assailants stormed her residence in Kigali, intent on silencing her voice of reason and compassion. In a harrowing display of savagery, she was mercilessly gunned down along with her husband and several aides, becoming a matter for peace and justice in Rwanda. The assassination of Agathe Yuelin Yemena marked a dark chapter in Rwandan history, symbolizing the failure of leadership and the triumph of hatred over humanity. Her death served as a grim harbinger of the atrocities that would unfold in the days and weeks to come as ethnic militias unleashed a reign of terror upon innocent civilians in a frenzied orgy of violence. Yet, amidst the darkness and despair, Yuelin Imina's legacy endures as a testament to the power of courage and resilience in the face of adversity. Her unwavering commitment to peace and reconciliation serves as a beacon of hope for future generations, inspiring countless individuals to strive for a better world free from the shackles of hatred and intolerance. As Rwanda continues to heal and rebuild in the aftermath of the genocide, the memory of Agath Yuelin Imina remains etched in the collective consciousness of the nation, a reminder of the sacrifices made in the pursuit of justice and reconciliation. Though her presidency may have been brief, her impact on Rwandan history is profound and enduring. A testament to the indomitable spirit of a woman who dared to dream of a brighter future for her beloved country.